Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If we haven't even met before, my name is Shiv. Hello, if you're coming back then welcome. As you can tell, I'm doing a fortune teller inspired makeup look, witchy, psychic, whatever you want to call it kind of makeup look. The thing with this makeup look I feel like is you can alternate it in so many different ways. You can do like a little moon, you can do a star on the forehead, you can leave the forehead bare, you can just put some gems on. Whatever you want to do, this look is very like make it your own. It's like fortune teller, psychic -y inspired, I don't know. I'm developing a bit of a cough so I'm sorry if my voice sounds a bit like harsh and like horsey. <laughs> sorry about that. If you'd like to see how to create this makeup look then please carry on watching. It's my last Halloween video of 2019. Let me know down below which has been your favourite Halloween makeup look of mine and what you'd like to see from me next year and I can take some notes. If you like this video please give it a big thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, it means the absolute world and let's just carry on with the tutorial. Okay, so I know it's already been and gone Halloween, but one more look for 2019. Oh, that rhymed. Why not? So I just quickly popped in some lenses. These lenses are really cool. They almost have like a witchy kind of effect in them if you look really closely. I'm starting off with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and taking this kind of like cool toned brown and just running this back and forth through the crease. Um, and then I took this khaki green from the same palette which is called Potion and popped that into the crease as well I knew I wanted to use like green and purples for this look but this look was again like every of my looks not that I practiced them but you know what I mean like this was completely winged I had no idea what I wanted to do with the eyes um so yeah I'm spending the potion shade through my crease back and forth I apologize about my voice um, through the Halloween season it just got worse and worse so I'm sorry about my horsey coffee voice but I just need to get this up ASAP while Halloween is still somewhat relevant. So I'm now I'm taking this darker teal green into the crease of the eye and really blending that through. These colours do definitely take a little bit more time to blend together so I went back and forth a few times. Once I was finally happy with the blend, I took the Bella Pierre makeup base, of course, to cut the crease, just going across the socket line, pulling it through. And then I'm just going to take the makeup base all across the lid just to really kind of blank that out as much as I can for a nice base for the lid. I could have gone in with a green, but I felt because I wanted it to be green and purple, I wanted everything to be very like contrasting. So I decided to go with this really gorgeous purple from the Morphe Bling Boss palette. This is one of my favorite palettes in the like kind of four palette collection. Um, so I'm just popping this really gorgeous shimmery purple all across that base, really stamping it on, making sure it's nice and intense. Then of course, what would one of my looks be without a glitter liner? So I'm going to take the Midnight Cowboy Heavy Metals Glitter Eyeliner from Urban Decay and I'm just putting that through the crease of my eye, fanning it dry. Now onto liner, um, I didn't know if I wanted to do a wing but after kind of looking at it in the mirror I was like yes this look definitely needs a wing. So I popped on a wing with the Revolution Renaissance Flick Liner Pen. I don't know if you're bored of me saying, but it is literally the best liner ever and it's five pounds. It's incredible. Get your hands on it now. Then I'm going to put some liner through the waterline. This one is from Jordana. It's the easy liner for eyes. I have used this a few times just because I do love it. Um, I think you can get it on Amazon or something if you're from the UK. Then I'm just taking the shimmery green shade under my lower lash line. Moving on to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette. This palette is just so essential when it comes to these kind of looks. So I popped the blue shade on my brow bone. Now for the inner corner, I'm taking this bright yellow neon pigment just to add something different to the look. This one's from Unapologetic Cosmetics. They were doing a deal where you could get three pigments for free. All you had to do was pay shipping, which is really cool and a good marketing strategy. So definitely check them out down below. They do have some really cool products. I popped on some mascara for lashes. These ones are called Kylie from the Primark and Suzanne Jackson range. They're so good. For the face, I'm going to take the Primark Primer Water, just spritz that across and then move on to foundation. Of course, you can use any foundation that you like, if you like more dewy, more matte, whatever. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. I'm just going to conceal and highlight using the Essence Healthy Matte Concealer in the shade Ivory, just for a really quick base and then set that into place with my Primark My Perfect Colour Mattifying Powder in the shade Ivory. 
um yeah then i'm moving on to my bella pierre contour and highlight palette and i'm just contouring under my cheekbones forehead down to the nose all the same things i always do usually then i'm taking my nyx matte bronzer in the shade medium to bronze up my face this kind of stage in like the creative process i feel like is me just kind of getting my head like where i want to take the makeup like while i'm putting on my base i'm like hmm, what do i want to do with this face setting that into place i'm then going to move on to the moonshell palette and i want to use a few of the colors to create like a dimensional highlight so i'm taking the shade purple horseshoe which i wouldn't usually use because it has a more of like a tinted background so you can really see it on the skin but for looks like this it's perfect i also layered it up with blue moon and blue ice just to create a really like dimensional looking highlight and just laid them all up on top of each other i feel like it makes my face look really like i don't know like glowy then I'm going to take this liner from Wonder 2, it's actually an eyeliner but if you can use it on your eyes, you can use it on your lips, right? So this one is in the shade Essential Bordeaux and I'm going to use that to line my lips. This definitely does not match the lip colour but it is fine, I did blend it out. This one is from Maybelline, it's in the shade Creator. It looks like it would be a purple on the outside of the tube and I always forget how like more pink it is on the lips but that is absolutely fine and this look did kind of go together anyway then i'm taking this gloss from technic this is in the shade ariel for eric which is a unique name it's like a purple glittery gloss i'm popping some mascara on my lower lashes this is me now trying to figure out what i wanted to do on my forehead a lot of these kind of looks um have like moons or crosses stars that kind of thing and i was like i want to be a bit different and maybe put like a astrology or something on my forehead so of course me being a gemini I'm, I'm proud of my star sign um i put a gemini logo on my forehead with some like random dots and things um and then i put some glitter under my eyes i thought that looked really cool i'm just kind of using this glitter jelly from wonder 2 and um, because it's sticky then you can layer like other glitters on top of it if you like and they stick without having to use a separate glitter glue which i think is such a cool idea so i put that underneath for a base and then layered it with um the gypsy shrine poison ivy glitter which is such a nice glitter um i'm pretty sure like most of these glitter companies now have biodegradable glitter so yeah look out for that and i think this looks looks really cool thanks so much for watching And this is finally the finished look. This has taken me a good few hours to film. And this is my last Halloween video of 2019. This is probably gonna go up late because this will take me a long time to edit, but that is fine. I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. I don't know if you can tell in my voice, but I'm definitely developing a cough. Probably shouldn't be up late filming, but there we go. I've got these contact lenses in and they are slowly killing my eyes because I am not used to contact lenses and this is weird. I don't know how people who wear contact lenses do it every day. I genuinely don't. How do you do it? Because this feels really weird. Anyway, I actually really like the way this makeup look turned out. I was gonna go for the like kind of like moon or like the upside down cross or something on my forehead, but I was like, last minute, I was like, I'm gonna draw the Gemini logo on my forehead. Why not? I chucked on some hoops, I put some glitter on. It's all a bit of everything, really. I took inspiration from, honestly, just random bits and pieces that I've seen over the past like year <laughs> on Instagram when it comes to like Halloween videos and makeup looks I mean so there's no one in particular like this is just set off this is like my take on a fortune teller makeup look I really hope you enjoyed watching this video I hope you enjoyed my Halloween videos this year even if you have kind of already gone out this Halloween because Halloween was kind of like midweek this year so it was a bit weird for like nights out and stuff but even if you have gone out I do hope you have enjoyed watching my Halloween videos bit of fluff over there what's going on and yeah if you did enjoy this video please give a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribe subscribe if you haven't already it would mean an absolute world and i shall see you in my next video thanks so much for watching bye